Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In the last video, we looked at testing jQuery once we've included it into our page using our script tag. And we looked at an example that included a paragraph with an on-click event attribute. Now, the difference between inline and external coding is extremely important. The main uh, difference is that we, well, the main goal is to keep our JavaScript as separate from our HTML as possible. So how do we solve something like not using this here, but instead just having a paragraph on its own? Now, the one thing to look for is, um, well, in the example that I used in the uh, few tutorials back, I included another uh, JavaScript file into my page that allowed me to use this functionality. So the difference between inline and external is that we don't actually have any code inside of our tags, but we can still use the same functionality. So let's go ahead and create a new file. Um, I'm gonna leave this blank for now, but inside of our JS folder, I'm gonna call this hide.js. Now, inside of hide.js, I'm going to include some functionality, uh, the same as we did in the last example, that actually allows us to hide this paragraph when we click on it, but we're not gonna include any code on the paragraph. Instead, what we're gonna do is reference the paragraph um, as opposed to include this code in here. So the first thing we need to do is give an ID to this paragraph, and this will allow us to uniquely identify the paragraph. So I'm just gonna call this paragraph. Now, now that we have an ID, we can use paragraph inside hide.js to actually reference this. But beforehand, we need to actually include this hide.js file under here, which will allow us to use the functionality within it. So I'm gonna say script type is equal to, and I'm just gonna end that tag. The type is text forward slash JavaScript, exactly the same and the source is js forward slash hide.js. So now we've included this hide.js file, we can start to write the code within it and check for when the user has actually clicked on this paragraph. So let's go ahead to hide.js. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use the same notation, so a dollar sign. Inside, we're gonna reference, remember before we used this to reference it. Inside, we're going to reference it with a hash and that's paragraph. We're then going to say um, dot click and in brackets and then inside of here we need to create a function. Now don't worry too much if you are actually uh, un or you're unsure of the syntax or unsure of the method, method that I'm using. This is just an example to demonstrate the difference between inline and external uh, code. So we're gonna be looking at this click uh, event handler uh, a bit later on. Um, so if you're unsure uh, as of yet, then uh, continue watching and you'll understand it a bit later on in the series. So inside of click, we need to create a function and we need to write our um, block out here, which we're just gonna pull down. So inside of here is our code that happens when we actually click this paragraph. So when the user clicks this paragraph, it will be identified by paragraph. It will be picked up in hide.js here. So when the user clicks and we carry out this function and this function will be hash, sorry, hash paragraph dot hide. Okay. So now when the user clicks on this paragraph, it will hide it. This is essentially what is happening here. So let's go back to our page and refresh. You'll see that we've got the paragraph here. However, we don't have any inline JavaScript at all. We just use this hide.js to look for a click and that hide.js file is included under here. So let's go ahead and click the paragraph and see what happens. Well, now the paragraph has been hidden and we know it's been hidden because we included the same functionality in hide.js as we essentially or, or previously did inside, inside the paragraph tag. So now you can see that using jQuery is extremely easy 
to stop inline writing of code and instead use an external file that checks for event handlers. Now as I said if you don't quite understand the code that's not a problem. Uh, the main point of this tutorial was to demonstrate the difference between inline and external and we've now actually eliminated the need for in uh, inline coding. So throughout the tutorial series we're not going to be using inline coding everything's going to be done from external files and the reason for this is that it's best practice to keep everything external and keep JavaScript away from HTML.